In this video, we're going to talk about left turning tendencies of the aircraft. Um, the four left turning tendencies, as we see here, are torque, gyroscopic precession, P factor, and the spiraling slipstream. Alright, this first little picture here shows torque. Well, what torque is, is for every action there is an equal but opposite reaction. And with the propeller spinning um, in a clockwise, when viewed from the cockpit, in a clockwise uh, rotational manner, the airframe wants to turn the opposite direction. That's the effect of torque on the aircraft. That provides one of the left turning tendencies. The other is gyroscopic precession. Now if you had a, a, a disc spinning and you um, put a force up at the top of it, just like this propeller is spinning and we put a force at the top. That force is felt 90 degrees in the direction of the rotation. So we push at the top and it's felt 90 degrees in the direction. So if you took like a bicycle tire and you spun it and then you went to turn it, you'd feel a kind of a weird um, motion on, on your hands. Um, and that is the gyroscopic precession. Gyroscopic precession is also in our gyro instruments in the aircraft and uh, that's why they, pre they precess um, due to all the different forces and so we have to always be checking those um, such as the heading indicator. Now, this is probably most uh, pr uh, predominant in a tailwheel aircraft. So when you are rolling down the runway with all three wheels on the ground, um, everything's you're still getting some left turning tendencies, but then the gyroscopic precession kicks in when you raise that tail up and you're forcing that prop forward, you're going to get a, a lot of left turning tendencies there. So if you're getting your tailwheel uh, rating or endorsement, um, one of the big things that you have to figure out is how much rudder to use when you bring that tail up. Okay, spiraling sl strip slipstream. When the when the propeller is spinning and creating thrust, some of that air moves over the um, aircraft and it hits the it slips around and it hits the tail, causing a yaw in the left direction. Uh, nose left direction, <clears throat> so it hits the left side of the uh, vertical stabilizer and rudder and pushes the nose left, pushes the tail to the right, brings the nose to the left, a left turning tendency. And then the asymmetric prop or P factor. Okay, what P factor is, I don't know how well you can see this picture. Let me zoom in a little bit. Zoom in. Okay. Um, the aircraft, training aircraft are typically at a positive angle of attack when flying straight and level even. But it's much more pronounced when you're taking off. And you have that that um, uh, downward des that de descending blade taking a larger chunk of air than the uh, rising or ascending blade or the left side of the prop. So you get a little bit more thrust coming off of the right side of the propeller than you do the left side of the propeller. And that P factor causes a left turning tendency. Um, how do we stop left turning tendencies? Right rudder. So you might hear your flight instructor say right rudder, right rudder, right rudder when you're trucking down the runway. It's because you're veering off the center line going towards the grass and he wants to stay on the center line. Center line is your friend. Do whatever you got to do to stay on it. Right rudder. Now, um, this is also felt once you lift off. It's not just on the runway, but it's also felt um, when you're when you just lift it off and and uh, you let's say you let lift off the runway. You're climbing out and you take your feet completely off the rudder pedals. Well, which way is the ball going to swing? It's going to be swung to the right. And what do we do? We always step on the ball. And you might hear your instructor say, step on the ball. Meaning, whichever way that um, inclinometer is 
outside of the little hash marks. If it's outside on the right, you use a right rudder. If it's outside to the left, you use your left rudder. You step on the ball. So you step whichever way the ball is out, you step on that particular rudder. And you'll overcome your, um, your left turning tendencies and you'll have a nice smooth flight.